Hey guys, I'm here with this 1980 Chevy Corvette. This car is a factory four-speed car. It's got 69,000 miles on it. Uh, it has a fresh 350 in it. Runs and drives great. It's much, much faster than a stock Corvette. Uh, these Corvettes didn't make much power when they were new. We didn't do the motor on it. Uh, we got it that way, but you can see, I'll show you in a minute, the engine, everything is, everything's been done on it, all the gaskets and everything. It has some kind of a camshaft because you can hear it when it idles and it, it goes like hell. Being a four speed, it makes it a little bit more rare than most of them. Most of these were automatics. Overall, the car looks great. It does have some blemishes on the nose. You can see the paint on the very tip there is messed up and the fiberglass has a crack in it that goes along right there on the driver front fender. Other than that, the rest of the car looks pretty good. T-top car, the interior is nice, it's got a backup camera. Oxblood leather interior. backup camera comes out of that display when you put it in reverse and then when you take it out of reverse it goes back inside so you can see the gauges still the hood so you guys can see under the engine you can see somebody put some time into it all the, all the chrome stuff chrome alternator chrome master cylinder it's got a high-rise Edelbrock intake on it Edelbrock carburetor The headlights do work, they do go up and down. They are a little slow, as most of these cars are, they're vacuum actuated, but they do go up and they do go down, both of them work. This is underneath the driver's side of the car. You can see the oil pan gasket is new. The tires that are on the car are pretty old. Um, this tire blew out, that's how that crack in the fender happened right there and the power steering is disconnected. Other than that, the car is totally turnkey. You could drive it right now. We drive it all the time. It's a pretty nice car otherwise. It doesn't have any rust or anything like that underneath. Everything's nice and clean. This car was taken care of. It's got drilled and slotted rotors all the way around. These tires have plenty of tread on them, but they are older. So the VFG tires all the way around, they look like they're new, but they're not, they're old. This tire is brand new on this side here. Now I start it so you can hear it run. See it fires right up. It's got really healthy oil pressure. show you how the camera comes out and then as soon as you take it out of reverse it goes right back inside and if you want to open it to change the settings you just hit the open button there it's Bluetooth plus it has a charging cable for an iPhone
horsepower. It makes way more horsepower than a stock Corvette, 1980 Corvette. Pressure, it's got healthy oil pressure even when it's hot. I don't know how many miles the motor has on it, but you can tell by the gaskets and you know every piece on it is painted. The motor's definitely fresh, and like I said, this thing makes a lot more power than a stock 1980 Corvette. You gotta be careful with it because it'll get sideways on you when you're not expecting it if you're into the gas pedal. But it's a ton of fun to drive. The car does have AC, it's not charged. Um, I would imagine it would work if you charged it, but I haven't tried. But it, all the components are there, everything's there for it. If there's anything I missed or another area of the car you want to see, feel free to call me or email me. Uh, that's about it. Thanks for checking out my video.